Vor langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. Niemand bemerkte den Schatten, der sich langsam über ihnen ausbreitete. Die Dunkelheit trübte ihre Sinne und das Böse fraß sich tief in ihre Seelen. Vom Wahnsinn getrieben schmiedeten sie einen Pakt mit dem Teufel. Zu später Stunde kamen sie zusammen, um gemeinsam die Mächte der Finsternis mit ihrem sündigen Blut zu rufen. Sie zu erlösen von ihrer sterblichen Existenz, den Anbeginn einer neuen Welt vor Augen. es sich, dass nach 100 Jahren das Böse wieder Fleisch geworden war. Als unsterbliches Geschöpf der Nacht kam es die Gestalt des Wolfs, der Fledermaus oder des Nebels annehmen. Es labt sich am Blut der Menschen. Dracula, der Fürst der Finsternis, Herr des Teufelsschlosses, ist auferstanden. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Nostalgic Dreams, Castlevania, Symphony of the or Nocturne of the Moonlight, depending on which version you're playing. Uh, either way, this is the hard mode, and we are on part 6. I feel like in the next two parts we're gonna finish. Pretty... I'm pretty... pumping this out pretty fast, so I need to start worrying about my next title. And I don't think, uh... The big one, the triple A that I'm waiting for is going to be out by then. What was I doing? Oh. oh yeah, we're here. Aha. Ah, uh, do I want to do the Chris and Grand Farm today? Nope. Uh, we will skip this place. We'll come back to it. These skulls, if I remember, they hurt a lot. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Woohoo! E Teleporter, right? Yeah. <clears throat> You know, technically, the only big weapon farm left for me is the Crimson Gram, so honestly. I think with this stream, I can get almost the entire content out the way. Yeah, we can try that. And then reserve the Crimson Gram, uh, Crimson Gram farming for part 7, the lucky number 7. And I will get it before I go down to the reverse catacombs. And I want to showcase just how cheesy that weapon is. Don't kill me! This is the problem with the heaven sword. It's a very bad downward angle. But let me show you what it does to bounce it. Just not enough. Get in library. 
we will be coming back to that place in part 7 to farm the crimson grass. Two of them. Oh no, get it! I believe this should be a boss. Yes, Frankenstein. Oh crap, Frankenstein is here. Alive and well. I almost killed it with one hit. <laughs> Come on, Frankie. Do something else. Yeah. This is your one time to shine. Ow! Does he only roll around? Can't be. Come on, showcase your ability. Hit me with the hammer. Wow. Okay, you know what? You die now. Can we swing the hammer once? These bosses are getting ridiculously too easy. That's the only issue I have about Symphony of the Night. Bosses. Imagine this is hard mode. Imagine like normal mode. What level? The subsequential installments do get a little harder. It's much harder than Symphony of the Night at least. Symphony of the Night is, is just cool. If you have one of the best weapons, it's over. This right here, we'll be visiting this, this little skeleton when we beat the game for a final farm, the Ring of Veil. When we get two of that, we will conclude the <coughs> Alucard's playthrough and we will start Maria, actually. I've never played Maria in because uh, I don't think Maria was available in Symphony of Night. You can play as Richter. I've done Richter many times. Maria, I think, was only available for uh, Nocturne and Moonlight, so I want to try that out, actually. Once I finish the Alucard uh, playthrough, I will do that, and then hopefully by that time... Ooh! The Terminus Est! That's a poison Executioner Sword. What this does? Oh yeah. Dim Sum Set. <laughs> What's crazy is when I was a kid, I don't know what dim sum was, and then now as a, as a full grown old old man, now I know what dim sum is. I have no idea. It's crazy when you play these like old retro games that you played uh, as a kid, as a old adult. The views are different. Sure, we get all of the map, y'all. The ending depends on it. All right, now we're gonna go to the Marble Academy, probably Orlux's um, chambers, if I can unlock it. And then, oh no! Part seven, we will go farm the Crimson Grand because seven is a lucky number, at least to me. It's lucky to me, that's all it matters. Ooh, that's a monster veil. Do I want it? Yes. Hey yeah. There's a couple of ways I'm gonna <clears throat> showcase the death of Dracula. I'm gonna have his own minion kill him using weird items that you probably never use. Then I'm gonna show you guys how I killed it with the Hapana. Oh crap. This is like the worst sword to use for this part. You know what? I'm switching it. <laughs> what can we play with? What can we play with? What's a good sword? What's a good weapon? What? Do I have the Muramasa? Yes, let's start feeding the Muramasa. Dang it, there's no blood on that one. No. If 
if it goes, is there blood on the head? Dang it. This weapon sucks until it eats a lot of um, blood. Hey, it's a good weapon to play with. Of course, I have go to the zone with a lot of skeletons to use the weapon, but sure, why not? Apologize, it was an interesting with the kitties. Yeah, yeah. So that way is the way to the caverns, which we're gonna save for a probably part seven. Oh no! An eight maybe. Once we get the uh, grab. Not that I'm gonna use it, but I want to take care of certain things before moving on. Yes. All of that for a um, meal ticket. Huzzah! And these little spike things can kill. Oh, 83. Oh. Yeah. Can't touch this. Damn, damn, damn. Wait, is this the exit down? Yeah, darn it. The other one was the item room down. Let's go. Back. This place is so scary to navigate because of those spikes you can use. Oh, yeah. I'm lucky today. I'm not gonna particularly farm the, the best armor in the game right now. Uh, we'll do that when we're about to beat the game. I really don't need it, don't care. But I want to have it before I finish the game, so. Okay. It's in here, in this zone. But I don't, ooh, we're not gonna farm it today. But if it drops when I pass by, I have no complaints there, right? <laughs> Alright, come on. Drop it! Dang it! it... Wrong move! Don't get up! He messes you up too. Oh, 90! He's harsher than the spikes! Why are you doing weird spells? <laughs> I think the Muramasa... Okay, you know what? Muramasa here is a uh, no good. There's, there's nothing that bleeds here. Masa Muramasa. Ooh, almost died. Oh, that was 120! That's death! Oh, that's 90! Oh my goodness! No, wrong move. Oh. Oh, dead. 
Dang. This is what happens when you don't take it seriously now. <laughs> Alright. I shouldn't mess with him. There's a reason why he drops the best weapon, I mean, best armor in the game. He was insane. Take it seriously. Mess around, get killed. Oh. Drop it, drop it. Dang it, he dropped the hundred dollar bill. Multicolors and not what not. Darn it! Uh, so it didn't open, which means that I'm gonna go to the right one, <coughs> use the save spot, come back. I'm hoping to get Orlux's uh, chambers in this playthrough. Oh no! Bad, bad! No! Terrible! Why, 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 why? Go away! My fat fingers push too much buttons. Oh, snap. Dark day, night! Oh! Dark day, damage! Oh wow, they hurt. Yep, it's not gonna work. I have to go this way. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. See how fast the other ones die? But... I'm just gonna wear this where it's like skeletons. I'll, use, I'll change to Namasa when it's a uh, fleshy thing. You know what? Let's go ahead and. Uh... Yeah, let's uncover the rest of this. Gotta make sure you get every little square. Yet. Why is it so hard to just so scale with this controller? <laughs> are we okay, cool. We are here. Perfect. Oh yo JP! Welcome to the stream, sir. Good evening. I hope you're doing swell. Yes, it looks like I'm actually almost done with the Castlevania stream. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna beat the game in the next like three streams. At least this playthrough. Nice. Oh, 
Nice, congrats. <laughs> you know, I was contemplating too. I have like 10k uh, thingies. I'm like, oh, if she is really that meta, maybe I'll try it. But then I got reminded of my another Eden pool yesterday, and that was that was kind of like sad. Like, I was hoping that with four pools, you know, I was getting it, but. <sighs> but I may try it, because she is supposed to be meta in the Summer Hoshino. But I only have a thousand, I think. I mean, uh, 10,000. <clears throat> My RNG for pools are terrible. For Saga, <coughs> for uh, another Eden. Another Eden? Actually, you know what? I deserve it. I've had such a good run with it that I it's about time that I get hit with the I don't get what I want banner. I think uh, this is one of the few that I wouldn't be able to get. I don't think I can make up. Uh, I don't think I can get a thousand stones to that. Oh no! I even I even contemplated the like the paid jewel pool. <laughs> I I have to say you you hit a drought for a while. You, you did hit a drought for a while there. At least in BA, for sure. BA, you hit a drop for a while. Nice. Do you need anyone specific? Like a specific unit that you need with selected? Do you want the summer or the regular Azusa? Oh no! Stupid Medusa heads! They need to take a little lesson from uh, Hades' Dusa. Dusa is the only time I think a floating Medusa's head was dope. She is awesome. Dusa was my favorite character in Hades. I can't believe they made me root for a, a literally floating Medusa head. Considering my my history with Castlevania games, I hate floating Medusa heads. But she is dope. Ah, you're looking for regular Azusa. Medusa is awesome. Okay, so everyone, uh, in my previous stream, we ran into a creature called the Cthulhu, which looked nothing like a Cthulhu. Here lies a creature named, where is he? Well, I don't know if it's a him, but it's a cosmic horror for sure. Where, what the heck is it? I should have ran into it by now. Did they get rid of it? <laughs> I'm starting to feel like the this version, they got, they, they changed quite a bit. Like, where is it? Oh, that hurt like so much. I know for sure there's one here. Where in the heck is it? No way! Did they get rid of him? What? What? No way! Did they get rid of a monster? For like copyright reasons? Well, not. Is it? No way! They did! I didn't see him at all! What? Or am I trip? No, th that is the area we see here. What? They got rid of a monster. I mean, it, it, it literally Cthulhu. Like, if you look at the sprite, it's Cthulhu. I need to check that. This is the PSP version. So yeah, it came out the... I think one of the... 
latest. <clears throat> it's the only way to get a uh, dual audio. I guess, but like, why would you get rid of the monster? What's funny is the monster incorrectly named Cthulhu is still here. But the monster that designed like Cthulhu is not here. And his name was different too. And I made a comment about it. I'm like, oh, there's probably some kind of translation issue. But now, like, the monster's just completely gone? That's crazy! Was it? Was it a copyright issue? Did the... Did the... Did the estate of Lovecraft... Uh, ooh! Hey, my sword brother is 50 now. And because my sword is 50, I got him, right? Yes, the sword familia. The stronger the familiar is, the, f the stronger he is. You know what? We are now going to do the weird fairy. The fairy I've never seen before. She was not in the original, for sure. What does she do? Is it a green one? Yes. No, you know what? I don't need... Yeah. No, yes. No, you know what? I want to do the weird demon. <laughs> the weird end demon. Whatever end demon means. But that's pretty nuts, y'all. I can't believe they got rid of an entire enemy. Like... I could go back to the library and check the, the beast, beast search, uh, what is it, the, the enemy log, but I feel like it's not going to appear until I kill it at least once, and it's, it's not here. I need to check this after the stream. I want to go and check if they removed it for the PSP version. Oh crap! Maybe Lovecraft Estate did not want their cosmic entity being repeatedly killed by other cards so easily. <laughs> Cause remember, there's like, there's a Cthulhu following, like there's a huge following for Cthulhu and for Alucard to kill it so easily, like... What about the items though? What a, Cthulhu drops a, a dark shield. What? That's so nuts! Like, like this boggles my mind nuts! Where do we get the dark shield then? Because he drops the dark shield. Ah, darn it, I hate this spell. Oh no, I'm a stone. That is crazy. Where? No. Really? That's nuts. That's so What the? Drop your card. That's nuts, y'all. Let me check that out. Yay. Come on, open sesame. Dang it, wrong one. Come on, what the heck? That's not what I want. Hunter sword. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, ouch. Dang it. Why isn't it opening? This is a really good question though. How do you get the dark children? Oh, it's open! Go! Okay. Alright, let's go find out who resides in this chamber. Ooh, we can 
technically get the more plane here. Do I want to get it here? Nah, I want to get it during the Colosseum. Aya. The Morn Blade drop! Drop! Dang it! I feel like this one doesn't drop it, so I'm just gonna skip it. Alright. We promise y'all. Use the Muramasa. It's garbage damage will be. Look at that, it has an extra animation where the blood's dripping at the end of the swing. Into the detail, y'all. <laughs> Why is everything Oh you know what? It's here! There's a yeah, Cthulhu's here. Cthulhu's here. Oh yeah, see, okay, what the freak? Cthulhu's still here. That literally is Cthulhu, right? Like there, there's no Wow, it's not dying. Okay. I'm like, no way, they took out an enemy. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> no, no, Ghost Dancer was the one next to him. Okay, this is his name. Dang it! Stupid Ghost Dancer! <laughs> okay, this is stupid. I can't use his weapon here because, um. Ooh, let's use a great sword. 300. 300. Yeah, I'm like, there's no way they took out an enemy. Okay, I'm tripping. Maybe I I thought that he they placed them there. I, I'm pretty sure they had one there. I'm crazy. The memory is not what it used to be, y'all. <laughs> you know what? I feel like we have to use the Masamune just to stay alive. Oh! Heaven Sword, what am I doing? I promise when we go into an area with a lot of bloody things, okay, this name is a Malachi. The funny part is there is a Cthulhu, but it, it looks like this. But it doesn't have the uh, tentacle face. It just looks like that with an ogre face. If I go back to the library, I'll show y'all. Give me the Morn Blade! Whatever. Mazda, where are you? Ah, oh, no! Why did I use this? Dang it, it didn't drop. Oh, Malachi, hold on. Ooh, the sword of Hador. <clears throat> I make it sound like it's something cool, but I have no idea what it is. Sword of Hador. House of Hador's family heirloom. What does it do? Doesn't do anything. You know what? Enough messing around. I want to kill this one in case he drops it. No, why did I keep pushing that button? Dang it. Um, yes. Are we going to inside? No. Oh man, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I didn't realize my HP is so low. <laughs> Alright, Soul Steel. Now 
Now I gotta be very, very careful. I might die. Oh, darn it. Alright, exploring the rest of the, the reverse chamber of. Whoa! Count Orlocks. Hopefully we can get a ring of Karasu. That. Oh yes. It's here somewhere. Give me your ring. Karasuman. Karasuman. This used to be a boss in the, in the original castle. Oh no, Karasuman did not give me anything. I think it's the boss. Come on, Karasuman. One of these is money. Oh, never mind. Why did the monster spawn? That's weird. <laughs> oh, my deuce heads! Ooh, safe spot. Medusa show. Ooh, the Alucard mailed. I'll wear this. Wait, is it better than the dragon tunic? A Dracula's tunic? Is it? No, Dracula's tunic is better. Gave away the best <laughs> gear too early. <laughs> Alucard's male is supposed to be like really strong. Like, bat. That's a dead. That stupid one block. Down there. Dang it. Cut us a man, cut us a man. Damn it. Keep not trying to do that. Ooh, ooh, these are bloody. Bloody zombies. This sword is so, I mean, this guy is so weak right now. Why does the blood end when they come in and cut, cut in half? You see? Cthulhu! Why is this Cthulhu? It looks nothing like Cthulhu. The earlier variation looked more like Cthulhu. This is a terrible person. You know what? I'm just gonna use the mass summoner here. We'll level up the masa, uh, Muna Masa another way. I'll show you the correct way. Yeah, right? It looks like a Barog or something. That's not Cthulhu. The other one with the weird pentacle face. That's Cthulhu. Naming sense all messed up.
holy sword, right? Oh, it's not here? What? I feel like either my memory is terrible or... <laughs> this game changed some item location. No, stop doing this. No, my hot dog. Would you eat a Frankfurt hot dog? Not, not Frankfurt. That's a place. The Franken something hot dog that dropped from a flying zombie. There, there. This thing. Frankfurt. Would you, would you eat a Frankfurt to drop from a flying zombie? <laughs> Another one. All right, boss time. After one killing of though, no! gotta go save. So, would you eat a hot link dropped by a zombie though? Ah, darn it, why do I go up this way? I don't know, that's kind of sketchy. Dro e e eating any meat products dropped by a zombie. That's what happened. Oh no! True. Exactly. What part of the party could be the hot link? All right, time to go fight the boss of this place. The boss of this place, if I'm not with memory, which has been failing me all night, serves me. Should be dumb. Give me a ring, Karasaman. He has a weird, cool ring, but not necessary. But it'd be nice to have in this con once I finish. Wolf. Um, if I use Masamune, this would be too easy. Anointed. I don't have enough mana to make that fun. What can I fight with that could be fun for the viewers? That I won't get killed with. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I can, I can make an army fight him. You know what, I'll do that. Let's see who wins. My Warriors of Dawn or the Mummy. Yellow. Go, oh, warriors are gone. No. Fat. Slice, slice, slice. Warriors are gone. Go. When did when they get summoned the big one? Ooh, there we go. You can technically summon like a big army of them. Come on, where's the big one now? Come on, warriors are done. Here we go, the big army. Oh, I won! <laughs> Doing four damage over and over, I win. I didn't even use the actual blade. <laughs> Got the red. That's so sad. He got beat up by a. Uh... Where's my last one <laughs> He got beat up by us. Summons. Slave summons. Seriously, what's that muscle woman? Oh, there it is. That's one way to defeat uh, the mummy.
right. That's it for Orlux's chamber. You know what? Since we're here, let's go to the Colosseum. Let's take care of that. And that should be the end of the stream, actually, honestly, at that point. And then in part 7, we'll go and finish up the long library, get ourselves the dual Crimson Grand, and then start heading, uh, start heading down, well, up, I guess, to the reverse catacombs. Pretty much that would either be the end or right before the end of the series, for other cards at least. And then we'll do a Maria run. But I've never done a Maria run. It wasn't offered <laughs> back then. No! Oh, these ghost dancers are strong. They hit pretty hard. What the heck? Oh no, I wasn't ready. Alright, come on, Dark Shield. Give me that sweet, sweet Dark Shield. Ooh. That's Cthulhu. Like, come on, that is Cthulhu. <laughs> it doesn't get more Cthulhu than that. What the hell is it called, Malachi? Naming sense of the 90s. Oh no, I hate when I do this move accidentally. Whatever. It worked to my benefit that time, so. This will be the last zone of the night. You know what's funny? That werewolf has a really good katana, too. No, he's yes, yes. And the music here is creepy. You get to hear what's it called? Michiru Yamane's like dark evil side with this soundtrack. Oh, the gram. <laughs> this is a weapon from uh, Valkyrie Profile. One of the strong weapons that we've been using. I saw her name grab. These are all bosses in the regular castle. Regular mobs in this
Ooh, there's a boss coming too. I need some backup here. Come on, world, drop it. I do want to collect all the katanas. I just need this thing to drop his, and then the last one is found in the cavern. Broke. Sadly, the Masamune is the best, but in terms of sheer damage, Masa, uh, Muna Masa is the best. Depends on how much you can eat of blood. Oh, these are blood? Why am I not using Muna Masa? Oh my god, if I'm, if I'm gonna farm the. My god. Oh, that's why it's KO. Because I'm gonna lose. Weapon in the game. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not that crazy. And plus, it's the worst place to do it. Not that worst place, but there is a better place to do it. I'm just doing this because I'm farming the, um, the one, one of the katanas. The two katanas. One of the katanas. And I like to collect all the katanas. And we have a little time. This is in the last zone. It's gonna be sent to mail, but I didn't get anything in the mail yet. So I'm assuming that it hasn't been sent yet, right? The rewards for the unit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because I read it and it says it's been sent to mail, but it's not in my mail, so I was like, oh, is it another bug? Okay, so it's not just me. Hey, top 80 percentage? Yeah, that's the end of the first one. Considering we have like, what, six inactive? Yeah, once I kick out the inactive people and start, you know, keeping it full of like, we don't need to be hardcore, but if they're just active, I think we can go top 10% for sure. Easy. We just had six more people, like at least minimum your strength. If we just had six people like your, your strength, we would have been top for 10%. And hopefully, shift up learns from this. You're gonna realize, like, you know, maybe they'll freaking put stuns, people don't like it. But, I mean, you, you have to balance it. It has to be fun. It has to be fun and challenging. You can't be cheesy, for goodness gracious. And I'm still upset that they haven't fixed the, uh, the, uh, the grave digger bug. That's really crucial, man. That needs to be fixed now. How I want to fight the... How I want to fight the next boss. Yeah, we had like six inactive people. Like, 
if we had all of them, if, if everyone hit, regardless of how strong they are, like, we would have had 10% ten, ten easy. Yeah, I know, right? Like, make it fun and challenging. I think it should have just been like easy to kill, and it's just, it's just how much DPS you can do at the end, and then you just rank it. It should not be like the boss wipes you out. Honestly, I think it should have just been like easy to kill, and we just record the DPS number at the end, and then you know rank it based off that. You know, a lot of our union members that are not strong, they get turned off by that. They can't do anything. They <laughs> they literally sh and then when it's when it's when more uh where more than Nia was doing the you know the, where she flies around with the missile part like the the weaker accounts they can't do anything during that moment it's no fun for them oh hey yasu yasu sune oh yasu sune that is the katana. So this one is... Ooh, look at this. Ooh. But it doesn't have a telephone. It's basically the vocal bit. Exactly, see? It's just... Nice. I'm just gonna use this for a while. Die! Drop your weapon too! Drop it! Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it! He has a cool sword. No, 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 that's not. This is one of the... I believe I like to rank it as the third katana. To me, Masamune is always the best. Masamune is always the best because it has a unique little skill that it does. Um, if you're talking about sheer damage, Muramasa is better because if it drinks enough blood, it becomes one of the strongest weapons in the game. But this one's pretty cool, see? It's like a Crimson Grand style. Holy sword. No! You replay? Where is the holy sword? It's pretty though, right? The Yasusuna. Come on, Azrael, give me your weapon. Oh no, don't kill me. Give me your weapon. He has the morning one. The problem with this weapon, as with. So, let me show you the Masamune doing the same farm. The damage is way higher and we kill it much faster. You know what? If I'm gonna do this, might as well use the uh, luck pot. Let's do it. So much stronger. And if they're in line with this, they're screwed. Yeah, look at that. Wow, this is a rare drop too, but okay. The Morning Blade, y'all. The Morning Blade, single-handed weapon. One of the legendary weapons here. Reason being, anytime you hit, you get souls. You, you really can't die with this. If you die with this, I mean, you can't die with this. It's impossible to die with this. You know what? I gotta go heal myself, actually. I'm, a fight, I'm about to fight a boss without any HP. <laughs> You know what, 
the morning blade. There we go. You could, you could, but it, it it doesn't make it swing any faster, and you can't time it. There are weapons that if you do wield it, the animation overlaps, so you can get two of it out. And some of the weapons actually combines. You don't need two for this one, because it doesn't it doesn't do any of that. And we need some HP, baby. And let me heal like this. I still have bits and pieces. Ah, oh, you know what? Oh. Let's explore the rest before. Oh, no, never mind. There's a safe bar here. Alright, let's go. You know what? Let's go explore the rest of this place and then kill the boss and then we'll end it. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. Because the original one took forever to get these. Some of these items. It takes forever. Well, I feel like the PSP one is a lot easier. Oh, you know what? What am I doing? I'm, I, I decided to use the Yasu. And there's one last cool katana. The Ofune? Osafune. 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 Osafune is a bomb katana too. That's it, let's go fight the boss. Fight the boss, next stream, farm Crimson Gram, and then go to the catacombs. Yeah, actually. Ooh! Two more streams after this, and we may be done for at least other cards now. <laughs> Once again, this weapon will be too easy. How shall we fight you? No, that's gonna cost. You know what? Whatever. It costs too much mana. I don't have enough mana to make that look cool. So we're just gonna slice them. I don't know, but that's way too fast. <laughs> Ooh, let's use Marcel. They're all zombies anyway. Okay, here we go. How dare you reanimate my friends. These are the characters from uh, Castlevania 3 when Alucard was first introduced. Trevor Belmont, Aya, Selfa, and then Grant over there. Grant Dynasty, who's not in the Netflix anime. <laughs> they completely, completely didn't care about him. <laughs> can't believe Grant Dynasty is not in the anime. That means you die first, Grant. Oh no, I killed Trevor first. <sighs> Silva, oh no! Ironically, Grant's the only one left. Ironically. Alright, time to kill him with a katana. You deserve... You deserve... Uh, easy death. Yeah, the 
bosses on this game is too easy. Too easy. The bosses are way too easy. I guess some people could have trouble. I, 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 I'm assuming. <laughs> All right. So then. Uh... All right. We're gonna go to the teleporter and teleport ourselves to our next zone location. We are not gonna be farming or anything. We're just gonna go there and save. minimize the time step. So many different weapons and so many ways to play, but yep. There's no upgrades in this. You just get it, and it's and it's got it. <laughs> no upgrading gear. That's like PC talk. <laughs> that's that's a computer game. <laughs> Console games had no upgrades. Did you remember ever having to plus anything in Final Fantasy 1 through, uh, 1 through 6, 7? <laughs> no? You pick it up and it's done. Why am I killing this? I already have it. It was simpler then. Each each weapon, each gear had weight. You know, you just got the Masamune, you know? Now it's like you just got now nowadays, especially like nowadays on MMORPGs, you just got Masamune. Now you gotta make it plus eight or it's useless. Because everybody has the Masamune. <laughs> but unless you make it plus eight, it's useless. No, that sucks. You know what? I have some time. I want to go farm the dark shield from Cthulhu over here. Drop it, Cthulhu. It's not a rare drop. It's not that bad. You know, but I've been having really great luck. Like, even the Vorpal Blade alone in my original playthroughs on the PlayStation and whatnot, that took like hours and days sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's the evil PC gaming. That's the PC gaming, uh. Feature right there. I remember one of the games. I actually liked it a lot. Uh, it was called uh, uh, Atlantica Online, and it's one of those uh, upgrade system where you need a duplicate to upgrade your weapon. So to make a plus one, you need two versions of the weapon. To make a plus two, you need two plus ones of the weapon, and etc. etc. So you know, if you want to plus five it, you need two plus fours. That took forever to make a plus eight, by the way. <laughs> oh, Dark Shield, got it. Nice. You know what? I know exactly what I'm going to do. Which crap vapors? The wrong area. Oh, this is the right. Toxic as hell. <laughs> Ha oh, Malbro is there, but do I really want to go all the way? Oh, there's no teleporter there? Really? This is the closest I'll get to it? Alright. <clears throat> I have to visit this thing eventually, so. Wait, yes. Yeah, wait, yes, no, yeah. Yeah, I am the closest one. Right There's a sword that, when coupled with uh, shields, gives you extraordinary hidden powers. It's called the Matbrung or Malbrung. Uh, Man, I gotta go back to the costume. Uh, <laughs> it was the other exit. Hey, werewolf, this is your weapon. Yeah, how ironic. I am using your own weapon to kill you. Hey, 
This uh, the scariest music from there. Yeah, this is exactly what I need to see. <laughs> La -ma yeah. Oh, dang it! Wrong one. To make this effective, uh, make this faster. I'm gonna use the masamune. I apologize. <clears throat> uh, where is it? Masamune, and then you know what? I'm gonna use potion. At least the BGM here is relaxing. Uh, systems that require certain items that can only be farmed once a week or once a day, those suck too. Like Final Fantasy XI, oh my gosh, to make a legendary, uh, to make a relic weapon, back in the day, now it's much easier, but back in the day, it was an, uh, a place that you can only access once a day, in certain places, once a week. And you gotta farm certain things there to make your weapon. Those sucked. Oh dang it. It's time sinks. So they don't want you they don't want you farming it too much, you know. Or they can just be like uh Ragnarok online and just put it behind a crappy drop rate. Like Ragnarok online, I would be farming for weeks for certain items. And then I might not get it. <laughs> That 0 .001, 0 0.001 drop rate of theirs. And then the gacha games. All the gacha games learned that. <laughs> and they decided, hey, what if we take that abysmal drop rate from, uh, from uh, what's it called? From Ragnarok Online and place characters behind it. Yeah. Toxic gaming practices. Oh, did you see some of the Reddit posts? Like, it's hilarious. Like, uh, some of the uh, Reddit posts for Nikki, they post, uh, like, I guess the whales are like, they post, like, pretty much they're flexing, right? They're flexing their crazy accounts. It would be like t uh, level 220, I think it was 200 something. It was 200 something, like, all pilgrims maxed out and whatnot. And the first reply comment to that was, Thank you for funding our game. <laughs> this is so true. To have an account like that, you just pretty much bought... You're, you're funding... You're funding shift up pretty much. That's a... That's an insane amount of number of money you have to spend to do that. It's like, you pretty much bought everyone on that team a new car. <laughs> There was an account that was, I, I remember I, uh, I was talking about. Some guy was spent three thousand Malaysian dollars on it. Dang it, it's not tracking. For sure, someone's kid's daughter, someone's kid's college fund is being saved up. That one person did. But you know, no, no. But the truth is, though, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm so glad the whales exist because. I don't have that money to explore and, you know, what's it called, uh, field test the stuff that the whales do, you know? Let the whales that have the unlimited uh, the funding to do the field testing, I'm just gonna go ahead and Google their findings. And without them, if, if the game was solely uh, uh, funded by people like me, they would have closed that game a long time ago. <laughs> I think the most I spent in that game was $40 now. $30 for the initial uh, launch 
the launch where uh, we got a, a guaranteed SSR if you had to pay. That and I think I've done about two. Yeah, voice actors are super expensive, man. Oh, wow, it's not dropping. You dropped in this screen. Oh, I run. We will. We did end up having to farm something. Yeah. Y'all want Rappi's uh Rappi's uh voice actor, right? You want that to be. Well, guess what? She's very expensive. <laughs> ah. Yep. The more whales we have, the more benefits we'll get later, you know, more funding. <laughs> Dang it. But I really freaking wish they fixed the uh intercept special interception grave digger bug. Come on, that's come on y'all, that that's a stupid bug. I feel like this is what it's going to be like for the Christmas grab. Dang it. At this point, people are wondering if they're doing it on int they're intentionally not fixing it. They're using it as a wall. To make sure to, um, too many people don't get too strong too soon. But to me, that that doesn't work. Because all that means is you're making the whales get stronger faster and only whales. Because <laughs> regardless, the whales are going to whale, you know. They're going to have fully upgraded pilgrim units. You know, that all you're doing is uh, blocking everyone else that's not a whale from uh, getting stronger. The whales are going to still whale, you know. Wow, it's not dropping. Yeah. And it really is the plea because I'm barely, you know, just barely trying to like pop it to get the points. You know, if I have 200 level, everyone level 220, fully uh, limit broke, and like star 3 on it, of course it's gonna be easy whether there's a bug or not. You know? But it, it's the people that can't do that that this bug is really really affecting. Wow. The sword is not dropping. I got eight minutes. Come on. Damn it. The money bags are starting to look like the sword. <laughs> My eyes are starting to play tricks on me. At least I have some. <laughs> I have a stream to complain this to. Before I used to do this all alone in the quiet, doubting myself. Then. But everyone who's played Castlevania Symphony of Night knows this is this is what you gotta do <laughs> to get certain weapons. My last like playthrough you know, a couple like, ten years ago or something. I remember this sword being a pain. I know, right? It's just collection purposes at this point. Like, I cannot finish the game without having these weapons. You know? <laughs> and what's the funny part is though, the strong weapons drop pretty fast. Why is the weak weapons taking forever? Oh my. I 
need to use the strongest to kill it faster. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it! I swear this money bag is starting to look like a sword. Oh my god. So this is like, it's, this is like using the ultimate weapon to use to mine ores. To make a, a bronze sword, you know? Like, I'm using the ultimate weapon to fashion bronze ore mineral, uh, bronze ore veins. So I can... <laughs> and instead of using a blacksmith's hammer, I'm using the legendary sword to smash it in. To make a bronze sword. Oh my god, where is it? I have like 255 night shields at this point. This better not be one of those weapons that are hidden behind a full clear. Cause there are there is a ring. I didn't know the first time. I spent like three days on it. Three or two days or something. And then I looked it up and I found out that it doesn't drop until you beat the game. So that was a total waste of my time. I don't think this is that. I don't think this is that either. No way. There's no way this is that. But either way. I got about less than uh, 5 minutes, if it doesn't drop in 5 minutes, we will be closing it here anyways. The safe spot's down there. That's... Yes, and then we'll be taking a quick break and be back a little bit later to keep, keep it casual where we can do some whole world campaign. Um, no, there's no new game plus for this. Uh, it's just, once you beat the game, you don't even get to resave. Like you just have to go back to the previous saving. You know, you know, back in the day where like you have to save right before the boss, but after you beat the boss and reload your old saving, it considered like you never beat the boss in the first place. It's like that. There's no new game plus. It doesn't recognize. <laughs> yeah, there's no new game plus or anything. It just you beat the game and you load the old game, <laughs> and the boss is like he's never died. But the ring becomes available though. The ring becomes available and you could farm it. Wow. Three more minutes. Come on. You can do it. Ah, it's not this. Give me the other one. So anyways, it, it looks like I'm going to beat this game and probably the Maria playthrough. Because Maria playthrough is like the standard uh, Castlevania. There's no items to get, no farming. So it's just beat the game. So I'm probably going to beat that game pretty soon. And I don't think my AAA title is going to be ready. So... I may have a. Uh, I've already selected the next retro game I will be playing until possibly Hogwarts, and I will not give that. Uh, I will, uh, that's gonna be a secret until later. It's all. Uh, it is a RPG though. We're going back to RPG. Yeah, stay tuned and find out what retro game are we visiting next. Darn weapon drops! Oh, no, that's not it. I feel like if it doesn't drop, should I do this off stream? Uh, do I want to skip it? You know what? Okay. If it doesn't drop before this stream ends, I'm skipping it. It's not like it's a ultimate weapon right here that I must have because next stream we're gonna be saving it for Crimson Grand. I'm pretty sure all one hour and 30 minutes is gonna be used on the Crimson Grab. It has the lowest drop rates and I need two of them. Oh my gosh, it's the other sword. Yeah, I wonder if no I need to use 20. Uh, 
Uh, like 30 seconds? I'm out. I have none. That's why I haven't been using it. <laughs> I'm out. It lasts like 30 seconds. I feel like the Lapis Lazare helps better with the drop. Alright, we got one more full minute. Come on. Not a biggie. You know what? Okay. Let's go. To the save spot. I guess this playthrough, I don't care enough to want it. It did take a while last couple of playthroughs too. Like worse than the Crimson Grand, honestly, in my opinion. Alright, give me some luck potions while I'm here. Come on, demons. Look it up with some of your juice and luck potions. Wow, they're not even giving me luck potions. Right. Ow. Ow. Hey, here we go. Ah. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and coming, stopping by to check out my part six of my Nostalgic Dream series, where I play Castlevania Symphony of the Night on hard mode. Actually, we're nearing the very end of the playthrough, y'all. I feel like next two streams will be done. Um, part 7 will be dedicated to obtaining the Crimson Ground, the most ultimate weapon in the game, which I will not be using because it's too broken. And then we will use probably part 8 to finish up. And then if that's the case, part 9 will be a special episode where we do a Maria run. I've never done a Maria run because it was never offered in the original. Only Richter and the Axe Lord. So, hope you guys come back again to catch up part 7. Thank you so much everybody and hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye bye.